Hey, we know it can be frustrating to find accurate wiring and compatibility information online. You've tried Google and you get conflicting information or worse, you order the recommended parts and they don't fit. You've searched the forums and can't find information specific to your model or year. AutoHarnessHouse.com has solved this problem. Check out our vehicle wiring and compatibility database for professionally verified wiring information, including connector pinouts, pictures, steering wheel control wiring information, dash kit compatibility, and links to all the parts you'll need to install your head unit successfully the first time. Visit autoharnesshouse.com slash mycar to download vehicle specific information for your car. This tool will give you the information you need for your specific version of your specific model. Okay, so we just installed this Atoto S8 Android head unit in our Subaru VRZ. Now this is a 2013 VRZ and so um, it doesn't have steering wheel controls but I did want to demonstrate for you how to do the steering wheel control setup for if your car has it. Um, the direct wire harness that we have for the Atoto head units um, plugs into the steering wheel signals and will directly connect the steering wheel control signals to your Atoto head unit and so you will be able to set them up but obviously if you don't have steering wheel controls you can't do that and so what I did is I just wired a connector in with uh, another Subaru steering wheel control unit that was pulled from an older Subaru and so this video will just demonstrate how to how to connect the steering wheel control interface or how to use it I've I found that it's it's a bit glitchy um, it doesn't always work correctly and so I just wanted to show you what it's supposed to look like just so you can see how to set all that up and so what you'll do if you have a steering wheel control setup button, you can just click that. It's also available in the menus under general. And then you scroll down to the uh, steering wheel or setup steering wheel audio key. And so you can do that and it'll bring you to this screen. And so you'll notice that I have a red menu up here. If you have a different color up there um, or something else, it's if it's not telling you to hold a button down, then it's not going to work properly and I found that I have to either disconnect the whole thing and plug it back in or turn the car off, turn the car back on, do something like that. But basically you've got to get to the point where when you press a button it'll change colors and then when you let go it, it changes back. And so what you'll do then is you take your control, you press the button you want to program and then you come over and you click the button on the menu there and then let go of it and then you do the next one and then go to so you you hold the button in on the steering wheel first and then you click the buttons that you want to program in over here and then hit save and exit and go back to home and then you can test to make sure that you're getting the right response when you do the volume controls and you mute whatever the settings were that you set up. So anyway, so that's what you're going for. Um, and that's how you set it up. Hope that helps. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Um, you can go to our website at autoharnesshouse.com or email us at inquiry at autoharnesshouse.com if you have any questions. We'd be happy to provide support and we have plug and play adapters for most Subarus and Toyotas. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.